The vaccines came in in nine months instead of 10 or 12 years. They thought it was going to take anywhere from five to 12 years. By the time this airs, Joe Biden will have more people that died yeah. in this one year than under your That's watch. Right. And right. he was supposed to fix it. That's and right. he has the vaccines. He didn't fix anything. And actually, he scared people from taking the vaccine, which is really I agree. interesting. You look at the chart. That's it right. hap- it, boom, it happens. You know, when I was there, we, we came up with it, and everybody wanted it. When I left, people really didn't want it. And then they do the mandates, which is terrible. Shouldn't do it. Would it you ever bad. do anything no, like that? No, I, I, and they shouldn't have done it either. They scared everybody, and they hurt the economy very badly. You know, the mandates are one of the reasons you can't get anybody to work for you. The mandates have been a disaster. But I would like them to take the vaccine, but they have to do it if they want it. And you know what? There's plenty of people that would take it. I won't ask whether or not you've had it, but I I had COVID. I had COVID quite badly. And they don't give credit for that. Right. If you have COVID, supposedly it's as good. Yeah. Supposedly it's as good. Why wouldn't you get credit for that? They don't give credit for mm-hmm. that. You need to get the vaccination. Mm-hmm. And, and it's, it's ridiculous. But they don't trust the Biden administration. And that's why they're not doing it. With all of that being said, if we didn't come, I believe this would have been a 1917 catastrophe, you know, where perhaps yeah. oh, yeah. 100 million people died. Right. But all over the world, we saved 10 million people, 20 million. We may have saved 100 million. It was spreading like wildfire. But we have to keep our freedoms also. And they didn't do that. You, um, I think when, when this was coming out of China, it was perfectly reasonable to shut everything down yeah. because we didn't know. They were Correct. welding people into their homes in China. We had no idea they, and they weren't being open. And by us. the way, they welded them in and they never opened them. Right. That was the end of them. Fauci, I wanted to give, I wanted to give everybody the benefit of the doubt in those yeah, early days. I understand. We have done a ton of research. I did one of the biggest chalkboards I think I've ever done. Right. Um, they were using federal government money to do... Um, uh, Wuhan. Yeah, in Wuhan. I stopped it. Right. I was the one that stopped well, it. Well, you did, but I don't think Fauci uh, cared about that. Fauci's uh-huh. now claiming he's science. Did you ever... Th- did you ever, would he still be working for you today? No, not now, but, but he's a great promoter. He's not a great doctor, but he's a great promoter. <laughs> but you have to understand, everything he wanted, I didn't do. As an example, he wanted to keep it open to China. He ultimately was wrong about that and admitted it and admitted that I saved tens of thousands of lives. He wanted to keep it open. I saw what was happening in Italy and France mm-hmm. and Spain. Mm-hmm. And I closed it to Europe very early. You know, in China, it was January I closed it. And in Europe, it was shortly thereafter. We saved thousands and thousands of lives. He wanted to do that. And then his big one of them all is the masks are useless. They don't mean anything. And then all of a sudden, he wants you to wear 10 masks. You know, (laughs) wear as many as you can. Put them all over, cover your ears, do everything. So I didn't really do much of what he said. And... He wasn't a big factor for me, in a sense, because of that. I think he thinks the presidency works for him now. Well, he's totally controlling Biden, yeah. yeah. Now I'm saying uh, he, they are doing what he wants to do now. But I didn't do that. Remember, his big thing was keep it open to China. I said, wait a minute, you have people. Now, since then, we've learned so much about this disease. Right. And you know, when they locked down a city like New York, it was so bad, and yet it was totally locked down. It was locked down, and they were in worse shape than Texas and Florida mm-hmm. and South Dakota and so many other places. They were doing worse. People that had no contact with other people were catching COVID, right. or the China virus, as I call it, because it's a much more accurate term. And you think of it, Len, they have no access to anything, and they were catching it. How did it happen? Who knows? But these lockdowns didn't work, and they were destroying the kids. They were destroying children have been set back so badly, not having gone to schools so badly. I had I have a teenage son, and I've talked about this rarely, but because of the lockdown, being at school, in my family, we had a suicide attempt. He attempted suicide. Wow, you know I didn't know that. And I've only talked about it once. The mental health of our kids yeah. is on the edge, and no one was will- no one's willing to talk about that consequence. It's incredible. And by the way, children, you talk about, but people, 
Look at the suicide rates. Look I at know. the depression. Look at all of the other things. People have been destroyed with these lockdowns. It's so horrible the way they've handled it. And we understand the disease now. We understand it. We understood it quite a while ago. You look at Cuomo, where he was doing the grandstanding all over the place. Yeah. He was a disaster. You know, I sent a hospital ship to New York, and I sent, I built a hospital, 2,800 beds in the Javits Center, Convention mm -hmm. Center, and they didn't use it. They sent the people that were infected back into the nursing, nursing homes. homes. I said, why aren't you using these things? The captain, an admiral, called. He said, they're not using the ship. And we actually had it designed for COVID, which is, you know, different mm -hmm. in terms mm -hmm. of ventilation and everything else. Did an incredible job. We had a two-week turnaround. It was incredible, the job they did. And we kept saying, where are the people? And yet, they're going back into nursing homes and people are dying. It was incredible. We did a great job. Some of these governors did a horrible job.